Portland's Kochmar organ is a hidden gem in the city. The instrument celebrates its 100th birthday next month with the Friends of the Kochmar Organ are planning a week-long celebration to mark the event. Tom talked with municipal organist Ray Cornells about what's in store. Ray, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. We're here to talk about the a centennial celebration for the Kochmar organ, but before we get into that, just briefly, for people who might not know, what's the history behind the Kochmar organ? Well, in 1912, the Kochmar organ was given to the city by Cyrus H.K. Curtis, the publisher of the Saturday Evening Post and latest home journal. He was a Portland resident, loved music, and it was Herman Kochmar, who had died just a few years before, that sparked his interest in music. And so as a testimony to the great musician that Herman Kochmar was, Mr. Curtis gave to the city the fabulous Kochmar Memorial Organ, dedicated August 22nd, 1912. 1912, so this is the 100th year. 100 years. And next month in August, or is it, we're going to be a big celebrations coming up, right? Whole festival week from silent films to pops to classics to organ and brass workshops, you name it, you will just have a great time hearing, exploring, and seeing the many sides of the Kochmar organ. I'm kind of curious what the silent film night's about. What's, what's actually going to happen? It's speedy. It's a uh, wonderful uh, silent film with Harold Lloyd, and there's actually a cameo appearance of Babe Ruth in there. Uh, it, you'll have to come and find the plot. I don't want to give, away, give it away, but it's a fun night. Tom Trenny, who's coming will be improvising on the spot music to accompany and to highlight the emotions and uh, the fun of a silent film. It's a great thing for families. That's, that's probably one of the most interesting things to me because years ago when it was first installed, that's what it was used for, right? A number of, a number of pipe organs were used to accompany silent films, and, but this instrument does more than just silent films. It, plays a symphonic and organ literature like none other in Maine. And so we've got people like John Weaver, who for over 50 years came every summer to the Kochmar to play, and Fred Swan, uh, the organist at Riverside Church, and then the Crystal Cathedral. They will become celebrating. We've also got some young uh, artists, Felix Hell, who's just in his 20s, Tom Haywood from uh, Australia, and uh, rounding out the whole program is Peter Conte from the Wanamaker organ. He and I will be sharing a program. So now th there's uh, workshops throughout the uh, period. Yes. What, what are some of the subjects of those workshops? Well, if you want to find out what an organist thinks when they're sitting at the council, what decisions do you have to be made? You can go to a master class and hear the great masters talk about the creative process. If you want to find out about how uh, to register or how to uh, bring out the characters of a silent film. Come hear Tom Trenny talk about that. If you just want to hear about uh, the history of Portland architecture in 1912, we've got a workshop on that. Uh, all sorts of things if you're an organist, how to improve your hymn playing. Um, but it's for not just the professional, but the interested amateur will have tours of the Winchester on Saturday at noon, so you can see the insides, how this great machine works. And I can vouch for how much fun that is. We, you took, gave us a tour not too long ago. And there's also uh, a, a Casco Bay cruise, isn't there? Yes, we'll have a lobster bake out on the islands, a Casco Bay cruise with a number of the artists that are here. So it'll be a time to come and enjoy. Uh, all that Maine and Portland has to offer. And what period of time is that? What are the we days? We begin so? Friday night, August 17th, with a 7.30. That's our silent film. On Saturday, we have a POPs program. That's the 18th. And during the day, we have a marathon from 9.30 to 3.30. Organists from throughout southern Maine will be playing. Mon uh, Sunday is our cruise of Casco Bay and the Lobster Bake. Felix Hell and Fred Holman and um, Tom Haywood come Monday night. Tuesday night, Fred Swan and John Weaver, and then Wednesday night, August 22nd, the 100th anniversary, Peter Conte, myself, and the Kochmar Festival Brass. There'll be sing-alongs. It'll be a great deal. Be a fun. And then we'll be saying goodbye to the organ for a while. Is that right? Two years. We will uh, be packing the instrument up, taking it to Tolan, Connecticut for renovation to bring it back to its uh, full glory. There are a number of wind leaks, a lot of air um, problems in the instrument that uh, put the instrument in jeopardy and so we're bringing that back and I'm delighted about that. I'll miss it of course. We'll be doing Kachmar on the Road and we'll be doing some educational uh, series in schools during those two years. 
Well, after 100 years of service, two-year break isn't, isn't much. It isn't. No. So now if people want more information about you know, the whole festival and the... The, the Friends of the Kochmar Organ have a website. That's www.foko.org. It has all the information. Tune in for that and just come on, on Friday night and get the whole uh, schedule yourself. Yeah, it sounds like a great event for anybody, whether they're the musician or not. Thanks a lot for joining us and talking about it. My pleasure. You'll be thrilled.